Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name's Sleepy, and this is Sleepy Plays. Today's video is in response to a gentleman by the name of Ice Man Major from Rentec. I uh, posted the F-102 Sunstorm Air Dominance Fighter on Steam, and he posted a request to show us an awesome flying vid to prove the F-102 is truly an air dominance fighter. So today is, well, this is take one to see <laughs> if we can do that. Uh, now, what you see on the screen is not an F-102. That is something called a battle wing, and it's looking at Masperian Moon. That's how we bringing the F-102 to Masperian. I had to start a new game. We're in Experimental 720-1277 because I wanted to make this test an experimental in the 7.0 version, because that'll be the next version. And the reason I chose the Battle Wing, the Battle Wing's not in Steam yet. Uh, I'm hoping to have it released in Steam for the 7.0 release, but it is a space dominance fighter. And I did want to kind of show there's a difference between an air dominance fighter and a space dominance fighter, even though the Battle Wing is a CV. She's designed to be the space dominance fighter. Uh, she's not through yet. She's not finished testing yet. Uh, she's specially designed for space dominance fighting. I believe, I don't know this, but I believe one-on-one -on -one in the vanilla game, under the vanilla rules, flown with the right tactics by the proper pilot, I don't think there's a CV in the game that can take her on. But I don't know that. So one thing I am doing is I also wanted to say that if anybody out there has a server, since I'm on single player, anybody out there has a server that's running 7 experimental and will give it a fair, I mean a fair test one-on-one -on -one in 7 -0, not, you know, with added turrets or, you know, different kind of rules. I want the vanilla rules that everybody has to face when they play the game one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. I would be inclined to talk to them about it and let them use it on their server to give it a fair test because I would like to see it tested in PvP. I, it's my hardest thing is I can't test them in PvP only in single player but I would like somebody who was, wants to test CVs to test her out in single player un, under the vanilla rules because she is built for the vanilla rules. She is built to be spawned into a regular vanilla ruled single player game. But And I also wanted people to know there's a difference between a space uh, superiority fighter and an air superiority fighter. I'm building the battle wing for space superiority and I built the 102 for air superiority, in other words on planets. But today we're going to test the F-102. We are in a new game. Uh, how do I get to this? show you what the options I've got set up on? Hey, oh, that's not what I want. I want the game options. Well, everything's set on medium. And the game options. I'm not sure how to bring that menu up. But uh, I don't set them on hard. I don't test them on hard because if I set test them on medium, if you play the game on easy, you know it's going to work a whole lot better than that. And if you play the game on hard, you know it's going to be a little more difficult. But I think medium gives you a good middle of the scale to look at to know how it's going to operate on your server, whether you have it set harder or easier. But all the uh, everything is set on medium in the game. And let's go inside here. Where am I at? Here I am. And like I said, this is the Battle Wing. It's not in Steam yet. It's not finished yet. It is still a work in progress, but hopefully it'll make it for 7 0. I don't have the gravity on, so we're not walking. And this is the 102 Sunstorm. This is the air superiority fighter. I spawned her in, started the Nakua, drove the battle wing over here with her in the back of it. And today we're going to fly her to Masperian Moon and just see how she works. Now you got to remember, I'm not, I'm an older gentleman. I'm not, I build stuff. I'm not one of these young kids with these great reflexes and all this stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's to me, it's kind of a good test, you know. Let some of these hotshot pilots really get out there and prove her. But for now, <coughs> I'm going to try. I've got some food. I did bring a repair tool. I just brought a shotgun. I got my Pentax that I got here with. I've got some fuel and I've got some oxygen. And I've got some ammo for the shotgun is all I've got. So I'm just wearing light armor. I'm not even wearing heavy armor. 
So we're going to hop in here, take a look at what we've done. We have loaded up the ammo boxes. Uh, let's go to the P menu, and all the ammo boxes are loaded the same. I put in four stacks of rail guns, I put in four stacks of 135 homing, and I put in five stacks of 15 millimeter bullets. It has four ammo boxes and they're all loaded the same. I'm gonna fly out of the back of the battle wing. That's the battle wing, as you can see. I think she's going to be good for used properly. I mean, she could be horrible if she's not used right. She's not a CV that you can park and say defend. You have to fly her. She is a space fighter. She's not like your normal CV. You notice you don't see any guns facing the back. But anyway, that's not what we're here for right now. We're here to go to Masperian Moon and see what we can do. <laughs> Load all of our guns. And we're locked and loaded. And let's take on Masperian Moon. I'm assuming Masperian Moon is the hardest planet in Experiment 70. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever been to Masperian Moon in 70. We're just going to see what she has to offer. Yep, that is Masperian Moon. We're going to see what she has to offer. I'm thinking first line is to go find the uh, patrol vessel. I would assume we need to get her out of the way so she's not irritating us. So, kind of our first mission is going to be to go look for the patrol vessel. Looks like the green wall right here, is it? Yeah, let's fly the green wall just to see if there's anything parked right on the side of it so we know if we fly through later on that there's something there. So, we're going to fly south and then north along the... Yeah, see, there's something right there on the green wall. Let's give it a wide berth for now. We're just doing a scouting mission, looking for what we want to shoot today. That's another base there. Two bases there. Boy, right on the side of the green wall, that's really a bad idea. You fly through there, you're just going to catch all kinds of fire. Sneaky little devs. Oh, don't look too bad. I'm not sure what those two are. We're still just scouting. We're doing a scouting mission here. There's nothing over here. Keep our eye on these guys. Yeah, that's the north end. So they're right on the north end. Interesting. Alright, let's... We're going to fly back around. We're going to go back to the green wall and check the other side of the green wall. That's where most players get in trouble. They fly through the green wall and boom, they get shot at by something they didn't know was there because they can't see through the green wall. I'm not sure what all guns these guys have on them. Not like I'm worried about them, but I'm not sure what all they have on them. I'm thinking the way to come in here is probably from this angle and take out that base, then go down and take out that lower base, and come back and take out this third higher base. What's that cut? It's a little drill. What's our effective range? 270 meters? Can't lag for some reason. Yeah, you're out of the way. Let's fly to the other side of the green goo and see what's over here on this side. See, that's where you get in trouble. You fly to the green goo and you don't know what's there. We'll head south here. So there's nothing on this side. The quest for the 
patrol vessel. Oh, do we have our oxygen on? Oxygen on, probably a good idea. Fill all, fill all. There, oh, that's what we're looking for right there. Masperian Fortress. That's, that's, oh, they've got it in, I don't know if that's good or bad. Launched him beside that mountain like that. Interesting. That's going to be our final goal. Ooh, our first goal, we just got to go find the... It's on the south side, near the green goo. I want to go find the patrol vessel. Boy, they've made Masperian mountainy. I don't know that I like this better, or I like the old Masperian better. This is I'm not rendering. Probably should have restarted the game. Since I came through the map through a whole bunch of planets and jumping, it seems to... One thing about this game, it does seem to get a little laggy when you travel to different play fields. It is a lot, just a lot of the time, it's better to go out, reboot, and restart. Which we may do that before we get into the battle. I do want to find a patrol vessel, I don't know where he's at. So I do like to take him out first, just so he never surprises me. It's like running an air cat mission, you secure the airspace first, then you worry about ground targets. That's kind of what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to secure the air. What is down there? That must be a drone. Ooh. Three drones over here. No, it's just drones, it's not a base. Yeah, this lag is just nuts. There, I was going to first person. See on the other side of the rock? Why are we tagging so bad? Yeah, we've got a reboot. I cleared that mess out. Let's do something here. And, uh, got something else there. Whatever's here, they like it. shoot today. Auto break is on. Why are we drifting left? Oh, is your friend. Interesting. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to restart this game. Real quick. I think it's lagging because we switched play fields. So, let's hit escape. Quit. Resume game. Now this is this new game that I just started, and I'll show you the difficulty while we're here. I've got a uh, drone base tech medium, embassy spawn normal, enemy difficulty medium, everything. None of this other matters. That's all temperature, right? But all the enemy stuffs on medium. Let's go back to low game. It's okay. Load game. Let's get back in and see if it's not quite so laggy. <coughs> Once we jumped, I don't know how many fields we jumped to get here to Masperian. See if it works a little better. Somebody play elevator music here. Da da dum dum da da dum. There we go. Oh, one thing we did forget to spawn us in with some night vision goggles. That's probably what I should do. Let's go to the H menu. Yeah, I've got the H menu. Well, I thought I had the H menu. Oh, I don't have it. I've restarted the game, so let's go to tab. No. Here. Oh, item menu. IT. 
PM menu. Let's allow the item menu. Let's go to H. Go there, go to H. And give me some night vision goggles. I don't need two pairs. Now we can turn our night vision on. We can see what we're doing. There we go. Oh, this will lag is bad. I should turn the settings down a little bit on the video. Ah! Off, off, that's on low. Grass density. Let's turn that down to low. Don't worry about grass. I don't know if that's going to be any better or not. We'll see. And let's head... Where are we heading east? We're still lagging a bit. I don't know why. I normally don't have these issues. It's jumping around like crazy though. That's part of experimental, I don't know. Where are you at, patrol vessel? Drones galore. I don't want drones, I want the patrol vessel. Seventy, right? All right? Let's take this guy out. Kind of said jumping around is killing me. Enemy transport. Uh, I'm not sure how well this is going to work with all this lag and jumping around. I don't know why it's jumping around. I'm just on single player. I don't know why it's lagging so much. But I'll deal with it. You must deal with adversity. Where is the patrol vessel? Access attack tree. I want to see the patrol vessel. All I'm finding is drones. What are we out of bullets? Are we literally out of bullets? Green goo. Did we head the wrong way? Let's go west, young man. My kingdom, my kingdom for a patrol vessel. Yeah, I don't think I like the new Mesperian moon any better, because I think I like the trees and the green grass and the fog, and what are you? 
bigger, quicker than a drone I remember seeing. Trip transport. Not today, big boy. Yeah. God, this jerking around is absolutely killing me. I wonder if they've changed the flight model. Very strange. Something dead ahead, what is it? That must be a trip transport we just shot down. Go west, young man. Let's go west. I need a patrol vessel. I know in six versions there was always a patrol vessel on Mesperian. Seven, I don't know. I don't know if it matters what seed you're using. A good place for it up here in the Scotlands. Yeah, I think they've gone. That's the one. I, that's opinion, and you know what opinions are. But my opinion is they've gone way too mountainous in seven on everything. Akua looks like the Scottish Highlands. Now it's the first time I've been to Masperian Moon, and it's. Awful mountainy. I do like the jungles, I do like the trees. I'm not crazy about every planet being uh, the Rocky Mountains or the Alps or pick your favorite mountain range. I like the variety. I mean, I think, so. oh, there we go. I think some should be uh, mountainous. Is that a real gun? Yeah, that's a real gun. God, it's dark. Dark and... See how it's glitchy, jumpy? I don't know why it's so jumpy. That gun's gone. See, it's not off this jumpy. This is so weird. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what that is, either. Let's change our lighting. It's not a gun. Your patrol vessel medium, whatever that means, so... Where are your guns at? Whatever that was, I took it out. Something shooting at me. So jerky. It's a new patrol vessel for me. You got an engine in there. Alright, let's give you a little bit of better. It's our range here on these homing missiles. 270. It's probably hurting on you. Whoa! What was that jerk all about? Is that a gun there? Let's see what we got. That is a thruster. Let's end its day. We got lots of thrusters here in the back. Let's open them up. Getting light. 11.07 to sunset. I like to take the thrusters out, kill its maneuverability. Try to kill it. Thrusters don't want to blow. I'm not shooting at me. Thruster. 
they are not. I should have. Is that a gun? What is that? She's going nose down for some reason. I mean, rear down for some reason. I guess that's her rear. Whoa. Lots of guns in those little gaps, don't she? Let's make a little problem. is he who has no guns can't hurt me. I'm using missiles because I can't see. I can't see where the stuff's at, so I'm just going to use missiles. If I could see it, I'd use rail guns. If I can't see the guns, I can only see the flashes. Hmm. That's a little light. This mountain fella. I see more thrusters. I watch them. Got in there somewhere. I want those thrusters. What are those thrusters behind? Protecting those things. There, that was a gun. Is that blue thing there a thruster underneath something? I don't know. She looks pretty hurt to me. And let's level up for a second and let's. underneath her and take out her lifting thrusters and bring her down, but what's the range on our missiles? 270, what's the range on our 
rail guns. 308. That looks like a gun to me right there. Where's the gun? I wonder why it won't go away. I nailed it with real gun bullets. Hmm. How do I bring you down? Back to missiles. Something there can still shoot us. I can't see. Turkey. Now we get rid of it. Can't get rid of this little gun right here, though. Goodness gracious. What a pain in the rear. Alright, where's your lifting thrusters at? That gun's still there. Not there anymore. Where's your lifting thrusters at? You're sitting on a mountain. Oh, they're all underneath here in the center. Oh, yes. That brought you down, baby. That brought you down. You ain't going nowhere now. You ain't gonna bother anybody now. Oh, what's shooting? What's that boom? Boom, boom, boom. I don't know what that boom was. Near a base, are we anywhere? I'm looking. <coughs> I don't see a base anywhere. I see a black spot here, but I guess there's a tree. It is. Ah, the slag is just killing me. Let's look you over. I don't see anything dangerous on you. Right now, normally in a normal game, you would get off and go in and enter it and loot it. But that's not what we're here for. We're not here to do our looting. I'm... Whoa. What the heck? I'm confused. I keep hearing shots, 
I have no idea what is going on there. And I can't... It doesn't look like I'm getting shot, but... You never know in an experimental version. That's just weird. I have no idea what's going on there. I have no clue. Anyway, you're toast. She's toast. She's not going to bother us. Now what we're going to do is just see how much damage she did to us. We'll get out of here somewhere away from everything. We'll go look around the front end and see what we'd look like. Hmm. Look pretty good. I don't see any damage, really. It's damaged the cockpit a little bit, but nothing really. Sounds good. Let's go see if we can land. Get out. Pull out our little repair tool. See what she did to our cockpit. Oh, she did two points of damage to our cockpit. You were seriously. Alright, we're fine. Let's go find some bases to pick on now. You're done. Now I wonder where Masperian Fortress is. That should be to the east. Let's go pick on... I wish you could figure out how to stop this. Jerking around. I probably need to restart the whole game, but... Oh well. I did have another experimental game going when I was on a Kua, and it was nowhere near this bad, so... I don't know what's going on with this. Ah, oh, that must be Mesperian Fortress right there. Oh, she's going to be hard to see, too. Uh, let's go to Railguns. Tell you what. Let's be a little tactical. Let's go behind the mountain. Just see what we can pick out. See how the lay of the land is. As weather, I just can't see. That must be her right there. I don't think we're in missile range. Four eighty and missile range is two seventy. No, we're definitely not in missile range. Drones. Railgun range is 308. There must be her guns right there. First guns are always the hardest. God, quit jerking around. Oh, let's just get a whole volley at us. Excited. Got oh, many guns. I get a 
Watch out for these transports. They'll drop little guys that have like SAM surface air missiles. So I don't see any of them. But you don't want them shooting your belly out. Yes, I do see one of them right there. I can't shoot today. I don't know why it's jerking around like insanity. Oh, that's not good. Too close. Too close. Too close. Too close to the fortress. Killing me. I have no idea how those drones are handling all those rail gunshots. Oh, shoot. How does a drone handle that many rail guns? I can't handle those missile shots. That's kind of weird. Did he drop guys? I'll see you guys. Plasma drone. It's a large minigun drone. That's it, boys. Another drone in there. Back to our rail guns. Yeah, no, you want to shoot at me now? Let's go back to missiles. Do 
out with some of these drums. Keep dancing. Taking out drums. Dum -de dum dum. That drone's running. Alright, let's go back to rail guns. What is shooting at me there? That I can't see behind a crash ship. I don't think there's a gun there. Back to missiles, you're not gonna sneak in me, plasma drone. Told you. Back to rail guns. Bad shooting. Back to missiles. No more plasma drone. Ah, back to rail guns, depending on what this other drone does. Oh, you popped another drone. Ooh, took a hard hit there, didn't we? So the missiles don't reach. You just like popping drones, don't you? I would love to take out that little drone popper right there. I see you shooting at me. I need that guy gone. There's one more guy up top there I need gone too. I can't tell if that's a gun or if there's a radar thing there. Chair this whole time. I can just sit up so I can see what I'm doing now. <sighs> more missile, maybe more drones. What are you gonna do, drone? You coming? Are you coming? Jerky. One of those. Let's go in here a long ways now that we've gotten the flat boys out. Let's swing around this side. Let's see if we can go right down that line. Yeah, see that line right there? It'd be nice just to shoot right down that line. I think was well done. I'll 
probably the best choice of a maneuver the whole time. Looks like a gun. I don't know what it was. Warning! Troop transport! It's dead. Sit there and take out guns if you keep popping drones on me. I don't think there's any guns in the back left, so I think we're gun free. Masperian Fortress is gun free. What do you know? I think you can put missiles into these holes and damage what they spawn from. It's that little block there. One of those blocks there. We probably have kicked ass on Masperia Fortress. Let's go up many gun bullets now. Quit jerking around. You need to use your mini guns, take those little guns like this, or else you just damage you too much loot. I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna call Xenu Fortress safe. And let's go see what else we can pick on in my spirit now. Let me get that out of the way. Take a look at our ship. Beating there. We lost a few blocks up front. That's okay. It's a fighter. It's supposed to take a beating. We didn't bring it here to baby it. We brought it around here to fight. Uh, hmm. What's next? What is next on our agenda? was mass period that's what's showing up on the radar. And it's harmless at this point in time. Let's go find something else to pick on. Let's head west, young man. Go west. See, now, we've taken out the fortress. We've taken out the uh, CV. Let's clean this planet. See what else they got for targets. I know they got three things right next to the green goo. We know about those. And we do need to eliminate those because those are highly dangerous. 
most aggravating thing in the world. You fly to the Green Goat, you get three bases shooting at you, and you're like, Really, guys? What? We're gonna have to see if there's anything else. Sunrise, let's take off our night vision. Let's keep our eyes peeled. What's up here? That's ah, just a drone, I think. Yeah, let's go to work on. Too far away. This lag is just murdering me. This lag is just murder. I am going to hop out and check my food and check my cockpit. Let's check our cockpit. Where are we at? Oh, see, we are low in the cockpit now. We took some damage in the cockpit that battle. Can we repair this thing? There we go. Let's get us a bite to eat so we don't starve to death. Let's go ahead and refill our fuel, refill our oxygen. Oh, we must be out of O2. Should have brought more. We're headed to the west. Now we can see. It's all those cracks. Yeah, that looks friendly. Definitely don't look friendly. She's got a lot of guns on her, doesn't she? Can't tell her. I don't know what is going on. Just jerking around. Stealth outpost, that's what you call yourself, a stealth outpost. You don't look real stealthy to me sitting on top of that dang hill. Your guns on the other side. Yes, there are red guns on the other side. Sneaker in here. They're on the other side. We'll see if they can't just take them away. Well, I don't see any worse than guns on a stealth outpost. Oh, there is. Hey, big boy. Eh, this Delta post looks docile. Should I go after that? I know some guy got away. 
We shouldn't let him get away. I don't know where he went, though. I thought he went over here. Is that him up there? Uh, let's go to missiles. Go to first person. Oh, you're running. Where are you running to? Give me a range. Give me a range. Showing up for some reason on radar. Is it glitched? Oh, there he goes. We gotta be within, what is it, 270? With him running, we need to be closer. So let's get him 200. Jerk. Sorry, I just couldn't afford to let you go away. Get away. Go west, young man! Can't let him get away. Food seems good. Let's get this light out of the way. Food still 463. Wait a second. Okay, we took that base out. This base is harmless. We know we're stuck at three that are at the green goo. So, this is the south end, and I think this is where they were somewhere. That's the stealth opals we took out. Visuals are horrible! That's oh, a dead drone. Hey, we're on the south end, though. Goodness, I can't see nothing. There is no good lighting. Targets of opportunity ahead, though. Question, oh, there's our, this. We must be getting near our bases now. First drone. Weapons bunker. Drones closer to the weapons bunker. Got a rail guns. I don't want to get in between the headquarters and this. Oh! Would've been a nice sneak peek if I'd have been looking. And I will call the base clean. I mean, yeah, base too. HQ. I don't know that I've ever seen an HQ. Let's take a quick look. Looks like there's guns on the flanks, both flanks. Kind of what I'm guessing. I guess this gun right here should be our first target. Uh, 
guy should have been our first target. There's a gun on the other corner. Oh, whoa, what happened? The whole thing fell off. Say that's goofy when it does that. The whole side fell off. I took that one gun out and the whole side fell off. I took that gun out and the whole side fell off. That is just silly. That makes no sense at all. And what do we see here? I think they can shoot at us. There's something there. Where did it shoot from? Where did you shoot from? I will definitely open you up. I don't know if the radars do anything yet. I don't shoot them yet because I don't know if they do. There's something there. Nothing there now. Alright. What's left on Masperion Moon? How long has this video been on? Ah, it's been off for over an hour. Ah! Alright, guys. Yeah, it's going to be a long video. It's going to be a long upload. So. But we do need to... I mean, we came here to clear off Basperian Moon, so... We need to make sure we have succeeded at clearing off all the guns on Masperian Moon. That way you can come, land, fit your hovercraft out, go take bases out, loot. You can kind of make it your own if you want to live in this goofy-looking weather. So, I liked the old Masperian better, even though I hated Masperian because of all the thunder and lightning. But I like the woods and the trees and the different plants. I mean, all being mountain is just... Mountains are cool looking for a while, but then they get boring. What are you? Are you something we haven't seen? Do you have guns? No, that's residential complex, I think. I don't think it has guns. Transportation hub, it has... Uh, drone, so let's get a missile walk. And let's launch. What do they yell when they do that? Fox 2? Fox 3? Fox 1? Fox something? Transfer. Uh, drone dead? <laughs> Scratch 1 drone? Yeah, transportation hub doesn't have guns. It's not an issue. We're going to circle on the north side. Because we... Pretty much covered the south side. Let's circle the north side, see if there's anything else that can shoot our little aircraft down. We bring our aircraft down to loot. And that's what I do. I normally will bring the 102 down, clear the planet, and then I'll bring down a 104 or a Mad Hatter or something and loot. Because at that point I'm not really worried. The only thing I really worry about is the guns on the bases. They're the only ones that can really hurt you. So, we're going to circle the north side going west and see if there's anything else left that can hurt us. And to Iceman Major, that's how I, at least, define air superiority fighter. You can launch from space, go down to the hardest planet of the game, and clear every base of every gun that can hurt you, which allows you, which gives you air superiority on the planet allows you to come down, put your little base down, take out all these POIs, loot them, grab all the loot. Oh, something. What is this? Is this a, I don't know that this is friendly. I know that. Drone's not friendly. Uh, let's see the lighting. I don't know if there's guns on this base. Drone port. I would say there's guns on that, too. I need to swing around and get this drone, though, between me and the drone port. Yeah, see, they're already shooting at me. This drone is just like going around the base the same speed I'm going around the base.
Can I shoot this guy through there or not? There's something in the way. Here, let's peek a boo on him. I know he's there, let's peek a boo up. There you go. I got one more over here. You got a noble? No, you have more. He didn't dead yet. Since he's looking that way, I'm going to go this way. Oh! me to take damage. Let's get back into our mode. Back into hunting mode. I'm gonna watch this video back and see how stupid I was letting that stupid drone cut in front of me like that. But there's one more gun here. Must have got it. The drone port is clear. I suppose it'll keep spawning drones, maybe somewhere out around. But anyway, it's gone. Go west, young man. See what else we can find. Dum de dum dum. Dum de dum dum. Uh, that's where it gets boring when you're out looking for bases to destroy, to clean the guns off of. Uh, yes, I'm drinking coffee. I like my coffee. <coughs> I'm thinking that was the last one. I don't know. Research center, that shouldn't have any guns on it. Good place to loot. We'll probably find armor or armor boosts. Our stuff. But that's not our mission. Our mission is to make the place safe. We're back to Green Goo. I think we've done it. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have made Masperian airspace safe. I think we can freely fly, freely, freely, freely. That's easy for you to say. I think we can freely fly around Masperian now and not have to worry about green and red guns shooting us, which allows us to take control of this planet. Now we do have one more mission. A mission is never complete until you get home. So we do have to make sure that we can get home again. Because even if you succeed, but you cannot get home, like your ship gets shot up so bad it won't take you home, it's a failure, because you still die. I got the missiles, I don't think these guys have any guns, but we're just going to check for drones. I don't see any drones. Your guns are done. Yep. That's how we define an air superiority fighter. We have gone to Mass Period Moon, and we have taken over air superiority. I hope I can find my ship now. Uh, should be here somewhere maybe? I never understand this radar. This radar drives me bonkers. I see you put your name right on the radar there and you fly in that direction. Is that how you do it? That could be a way. I don't know. Uh, let's go to the P menu. Let's fill all of that. Let's fill all of that. So we're good to go. We're not going to run out of gas. We're not going to run out of O2. Where is my ship? Where's my ride home? Let's 
big as that ship is, I should be able to see it, you would think. I think we're going the wrong way. I think it's the other way. Yeah, we're getting too far out. Where are you? I'm confused. Should have put a marker on it, I guess. That would have been the intelligent thing to do. Oh, there she is. Home, sweet home. We have a ride home. Side down, which would be right side up. And we can fly in. I don't I'll tell you what I want to I don't want to repair her yet. I kinda wanna see how much damage she's got. Let's back her off. And let's take a good look at her. She's got all of her guns on this side. She's got all of her guns on this side. She is missing a block under the light. She's missing a block beside the light. That blocks have taken a little bit of damage. Her belly looks good. In past alliterations, her belly has been her weak point, and I've had to uh, fix that. And I have thought I had fixed that, which I think I did fix that, so that's good. Shouldn't have any damage from the rear. Ah, she looks pretty good. I mean, considering we just went to mass bearing and took out every gun on the planet in one mission, and all we ever repaired was, was the cockpit, uh, I can't complain about that. I can't say that that's a bad deal. And we'll get in here. I'm not, I don't have an EVA sensor. I can't get out. I wonder if I can park it and not park it on the repair block. <laughs> turn my jetpack on. Let's turn the light on. And let's get our little tool out. Let's just see. Let's get our orientation right. We did repair the cockpit, and right now the cockpit has got 628 to 700. We lost a block on the front here, this front corner below there. Uh, let's see. Now, all these blocks are going to have a little bit of damage. You can see they all got some damage. Not all of them. That one's really damaged down low, but it doesn't really protect anything. It's a corner block. Our guns are touchy today. It's not bad though. 234, 236. We weren't in danger of losing any of our weapons. I don't know why this is so jerky. 225, 226, 170. This one's taking the worst damage. And it's a plasma cannon, which I don't even use. 274, 272, 300. I haven't touched that rocket launcher. Barely touched that rocket launcher. Huh. And if you notice right here in the back, there's a way you can sneak into the back here that I've set up. And it's going to be real careful, but you can get oxygen. You can fill your oxygen out of right there. It's not going to fill right now because I don't have uh, any power on the little ship, on the fighter. That is the F-102 Air Superiority Sunstorm. And to Mr. Ice Ma Man Major on the Rintec. That is how I describe air superiority. You asked me to show us an awesome flying vid to prove the title. Well, that's as awesome as I can get. So, I mean, I can sit there and fly around trees and stuff like that, but that's not what you get a fighter for. You get a fighter to actually destroy stuff. So, my name's Sleepy. This is Imperium Galactic Survival, experimental version 7201277, and this is the F-102 Sunstorm Air Superiority Flyer. The storm has arrived. <laughs>